was a wild night in Daytona. After the race was rained out on Sunday, NASCAR Nation was ready to rev their engines. Let's go to Daytona Beach to see how it all went down on one of NASCAR's toughest tracks. Stage one, Chase Elliott outpaces the rest of the pack to the first checkered line. He goes on to win the stage. Now let's go to stage two. Denny Hamlin bobs and weaves past the field as he secures his 14th career stage win. Now, 17 laps to go, and Joey Logano, Eric Almirola, and Brad Keselowski, they all clash in over half of the field. Spins out as the night is over for a lot of drivers, including Kyle Busch and Jimmy Johnson. Two to go, Ross Chastain. He tries to make a move to the outside, and he catches Ryan Priest. Now we go to overtime, and you never want to see this right here. Ryan Newman, he's clipped by Ryan Blaney, and he goes airborne. Scary wreck that left everyone shook as Denny Hamlin he went on to win back-to-back -back Daytona 500s. And while Hamlin's win was certainly impressive, all everyone was talking about was the grisly crash suffered by Ryan Newman. In the final lap of overtime, Ryan Newman is hit by Blaney and he goes airborne. And look at this, his car rolls across the track and he was even impacted by other cars before coming to a halt upside down. Newman was rushed to a hospital after the horrific crash. Denny Hamlin, the eventual winner of the race, he says that despite the result, he is very concerned for the health of Newman. I knew it was bad. I knew, you know, him crossing the track there was a bad scenario in the first place. But uh, yeah, it just um, it's a it's a weird balance of you know excitement and happiness for yourself, but obviously uh, someone's health and their family's you know bigger than any win in any any sport. So um, you know we're we're just hoping for the best. As do I, my thoughts and prayers are with Ryan Newman and his family. NASCAR AVP Steve O'Donnell said that Newman is in serious condition, but that he does not have any life-threatening injuries. And that's a look at sports.